Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back. Today is another gig log. We're gonna be going out to Chapel Hill area to actually their house, the couple's house, and that is where the wedding is going to take place. Today it is an outdoor wedding. It's, it's gonna be hot. But we're doing string ball blading. We got the bigger setup with totems, movers, we got ceremony audio, cocktail audio, all that fun stuff. But uh, it's currently in the morning and uh, I'm prepping. I'm getting uh, the final last little bits of prep done up here in the office. So I probably mentioned this before, but I organize all my music in iTunes just because that way iTunes is very uniform across Virtual DJ, Serato, whatever platform I want to go to. Even with the Den and Prime software, it analyzes and will get all these playlists and put them into crates correctly which is great over here these are my actual playlist for tonight those are some of them um copyright to get rid of that but i'm making sure it's on there and then using the itunes music software the icloud i'm making sure they're also on my secondary laptop i got it hooked up to a desktop but making sure all my music is synced across also went through and of course printing out these forms right here the pdfs from vibo as well as uploading it to my google drive so that way i'll have it on my phone and i'll also have it on my ipad for later tonight as well as if i have any internet i can get it music planning forms, all that fun stuff. Getting that printed out and getting that all taken care of this morning before we get on with today's events. Next on the list after that will be to go get the trailer and load up all of the gear. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new and improved garage. By that I mean it is for DJ only now. The truck is no longer in the garage. And honestly, it was just time. I mean, look around at how much gear. I just put these together last night, so got a lot more room now for more gear to come, which is obviously going to be coming. Overall, spreads everything out a little bit it makes it easier to come in and grab what you need to get and get out like we're doing right now we're we'll bringing the prx rig today it's an outdoor wedding and i've really been not liking the sound of just running the srx's outdoors at weddings and i really don't want to bring the big 18 inch sub so uh, we're gonna try something different i'm gonna go back to an old rig and we're gonna be bringing out the prx 712 and the prx 715 XLF sub and use that as the wedding rig for today. I do have some plans to buy some different tops to pair with those 15 inch subs. So kind of just going back to jog my memory on what those sound like. So that's the rig we're gonna be running today for audio. So let's load up into the trailer. Let's go. All right, guys, that is uh, everything loaded up into the trailer. As you can see, I have a little bit of an issue when I'm doing these bigger events, and that is just a lot of leftover bags in the trailer, which is kind of inconvenient. So one thing I'm going to be doing here at Expo is Pro X will probably be at Expo more than likely. Actually, I know they'll be there. I'm probably going to be picking up some flight cases from uh, Pro X, just some general big bulk utility flight cases, and they'll probably just stay in the trailer. And that way I can just throw all those bags in those utility road cases and and then just roll in roll out in and out of the trailer also probably gonna buy a couple more rock and roller cards because as you can see right there they work pretty well to uh, put gear in the only problem I have with them is that things can fall off side to side which in a trailer you can't really leave it loaded up unless you ratchet strap it down like I did there so that's why I want to get some big bulk utility flight cases for my cables for my bags just make things a little bit easier with this trailer and a little bit more uh, clean going in and out of venues obviously everything has to stay in bags for when i just use like the smaller wedding setup where we're just taking my truck or if kaylin's here or any of my other djs come and they need gear um it needs to be able to fit in a car so i'm the only one that has a trailer out of the group so far so that's something i have to also keep in consideration but anyways i got everything loaded up as you can see it's quite a bit of stuff we're actually gonna be showing up about four hours earlier if you guys remember mario from the production gig log he's my newest dj on board at fusion sound and lighting here uh, he's going to be coming along to this wedding to help me set up the string bulb lighting and be there for most of the wedding he's a bar and club DJ as well so he will be leaving to go DJ at one of the bars or clubs in Raleigh later on this evening it is currently 11 20 I was gonna leave here about noon I got about 40 minutes I'm gonna go upstairs change get my clothes together get my laptops together get all that stuff loaded up and then we're gonna be hitting the road probably eat some food in between there or hit chick-fil-a as always let's uh I'll catch up with you guys when we hit the road Got the bags, got the fit, and got the most important thing, a cooler full of water, Gatorade, and of course, banging, I'm not in focus, but let's get on the road. You know, it's just my luck. Uh, I, I could pull over to the gas station uh, right beside my apartment complex. I'm like 
you know, I should probably check all the tires on the trailer because I haven't pulled the trailer in about a month. And I go to the back right and it is flat. Well, that sent me back about 15 minutes. So instead of getting there at one o'clock and get there about 1.15, not a big deal. What's up guys? We are on site, on location. It's interesting to say the least. One thing I can tell you guys is that the couple values entertainment because I'm pretty sure I'm the most expensive vendor they got. We're setting up string bulb lighting now though. We got Mario over there. We're gonna set up string bulb lights. hot guys but we are fully set up it's only 3 30. i'm gonna take you guys through a quick walk through during the daytime right now the wedding back in the back doesn't start until 5 30 prelude will start at five o'clock we have a loads of time there's a chick-fil-a around here so i'm gonna go snack some dinner eventually here but take you guys through a walk through we got a lot of string bulb lighting like i said again venue not the greatest but we're making it work and making it look as good as possible the back ceremony area they've actually dressed up very well it looks really awesome don't really care for my backdrop as the dj setup but um it works let's take a look at what all we got first off we're doing somewhere around 300 400 feet of string bulb lighting you got the x here and then you got the x in here they they did some sort of lighting like really subtle but um this is the main string ball lighting is what we did you got the double x's fans blowing everywhere which is really nice we'll point out we have a chave wash effects here and here that is going to be to light up this uh like tent area and that was something they really wanted so we got the two wash effects back here those will be dmx with donor wireless dmx later on this evening those are being charged right now if we come up to the main rig right here we could just point out the obvious things adj in a spot pros on both sides jbl prx 712 jbl prx 715 x left adj event table custom thing haze generator not sure how well it's going to work in the outdoors but we'll try it out fan back there and the pioneer ddj sz as normal for the dbx drive rec pa2 one of the adj mega hex pars down here adj mega hex pars in both of the columns as well uh chavez show express down here and yes, we are out in the open. We have a tent off to the side, ready for when the rain, if it does come, happens. We have a tent off to the side that we will just drag on top of the setup over there. Obviously gonna have to take the movers down, scrunch it together a little bit, but that is the precautions. And uh, it just, I like the look being open this way a lot better. At least one more room on the dance floor. A little bit of a new addition. No, this is not the rack build. I do have a Furman power strip back here as well as a shelf. And the mics that we're using will slide in here later on like i said the rack build is not complete yet actually uh, my boy aaron is the one that's finishing it off with the custom plates and stuff he's actually just over in raleigh pretty close to here i'm probably gonna see if i can stop later on this evening maybe you guys will see it but yeah i don't have the rack build done so we don't have the rack build so everything is kind of just like in individual pieces i have the other two mics here audio technicas and we're just gonna be using one mic this evening so it's gonna be very simple i will take you guys back to show you guys the ceremony when we actually get going i'm hungry we're gonna run and get food and then we'll be back What's up guys, so we're back. Down here is where the ceremony is taking place. But also the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of family and friends, we have a responsibility to this couple. All set at the reception now. I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and I'm gonna figure out if we're ready to do introductions or not. Well, I failed miserably, again with no introduction footage for you guys because we kind of rushed it. Unfortunately, we had to rush it. Half the wedding party is pretty intoxicated right now, so you gotta be very vocal and you gotta like do things quickly, otherwise they lose attention spans. Everyone is organized now and we are getting ready to rock and roll while we're in dinner right now and then we'll hit up uh, dancing after that. So stay tuned. The, the groom got smashed like a whole like chunk of cake into his face. So he's getting cleaned up. When he gets back, we'll be doing toast. Uh, still got some people kind of dancing during dinner portion right now. It's really cake time. So we're doing toast. All that fun stuff's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, Joey and Anna have told me that it is time to open up the dance floor and get this party started. If you love Joey and Anna, let me hear some noise out there. Let me hear some energy.
What's up, guys? It is, um, it's over. I'm on my own to tear down because uh, Mario's at the club, so I got the trailer backed up here, all the gear over here to tear down, and then I gotta tear down all the lighting. I'm gonna speed through and tear all that down, and then I will catch back up with you guys afterwards. Yo, what's up, guys? It's a couple days later, and I've kind of pretty much finally recouped from uh, that long, hot, exhausting wedding. I was so thankful to have Mario help me set up there because it was hot. Mario left because he had to go DJ at a couple clubs in Raleigh. I finished it out. I had to tear it down by myself. Wished I had someone to help me tear it down, but you know, I busted it out. Got it done in about an hour and a half and got back to Greensboro, which is like a 45 minutes an hour away. About 1.30. Normal night. Not a big deal. But I, I did want to point out a couple things about this wedding. One, I had a blast. The music I was able to play was like spot on what my personal like favorite music is to play. A lot of throwbacks in terms of like 2000s music, some 2000s pop, hip hop, all that fun stuff. I had a lot of fun playing a lot of music that I enjoy as well. I wanted to touch on the bringing the P-Rex rig instead of the S-Rex rig. Uh, main reason I told you guys earlier was at most of these outdoor events, I've been lacking the amount of bass I really like to have at my uh, our weddings and stuff. Bringing that rig back out was perfect for this event. It had a lot more bass to it, obviously, because we have two dedicated subs. 15-inch subs from JBL are spot on. Like They produce some really good bass for the size and form factor. It's a 50-pound small little sub. They do a killer job, especially when you got two of them at a wedding. And like I mentioned, it's kind of hinting at where I'm going. I'm thinking about buying a pair of like column array tops to pair with those two subs, specifically the TurboSound IP300s. And lastly here, I wanted to touch on a subject that I want your guys' feedback on, and it kind of was uh, a subject related to this wedding specifically. If you guys noticed, the wedding venue was just a family member's house. was it the most elegant thing in the world, but it worked. And they made it look awesome, and it worked for this event. And this is a big trend I've been noticing lately in terms of wedding clients, like always, they're trying to save money. But a lot of them have been cutting back on their venues. They've been moving towards, no offense to barn or farm style weddings, those are normally cheaper venues than, say, a downtown ballroom or a hotel bar ballroom. I'm really liking seeing that wedding uh, clients and wedding couples are starting to look more or less at what makes their wedding great in terms of the entertainment aspect, just the experience that their guests have is like the number one and number two importance of having a successful wedding. But I kind of want your guys' feedback. Do you guys also sort of notice this trend? Obviously, people have been trying to save money on weddings forever, but I'm really starting to notice a big push just across the board for people to try and save money on their weddings. And I'm starting to notice a big trend in terms of them cutting out of venues to save the most amount of money because venues are probably the most expensive thing for any single wedding. It's just very interesting. So let me do it down in the comment section down below and I'm just gonna end the video right here guys because you guys have probably been watching this long enough now. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave down in the comment section down below your thoughts, your feelings, if you loved it, if you hated it, if you hate me personally, if you love me, whatever. I wanna know it. Leave it down in the comment section down below. I answer all you guys' questions. I read every single comment you guys Post! Oh, don't forget to subscribe so you can see new videos, all that fun stuff. We're going to be going to the Expo, DJ Expo in Atlantic City is happening next week. And uh, I'm going to have plenty of footage and plenty of coverage, especially with a new product coming out from Pioneer. It's already been leaked, but basically it's a DDJ-1000 for Serato, but it's already leaked. You'll, you'll see a full video on that um, coming next week week or two whenever I get around to getting that video posted. Like always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the records spinning and I will see you guys next time. Uh, merch. Link in the description down below. Peace.